Did connect. Um, let's see if we connect it or not. Oh, yep, we connected. All right, there we go. Um, make sure it's going to play the game before we go. Um, yep, all right, there we go. I got to load up my phone quickly, and we'll get this show on the road. Uh, YouTube. I just want to get all the comments up so I can read them where I'm going. What's going on, guys? It's been a while since I've streamed. I kind of want to explain some things while we're actually streaming, but we're also just going to kind of go with the flow, really. What's going on, Farmer Blake? But, holy cow, my game's kind of laggy. Look at this minty truck, by the way. I'm not even big, that big of a Ford guy, but it's not a bad truck. So, happy let's get going. Oh, yeah, we got to try off my menu. <laughs> Whoopsies. Don't even look at my... Wait, oops, that reminds Super strength. You guys did not see any of that. What's going on, Rudlet? So guys, I've not been tr I've been trying to record, but it's just been getting harder to record. Um But I'm gonna be honest with you. It's been a while. I'm kinda wanna do something different. We gotta come to this farm and help him out. Well, we're kinda helping out with this farm here. I think we're going to actually record this as a series as well. I just wanted to stream it. I think it'd be kind of fun to stream this, but we're going to help him with some tillage because the guy got injured, so we're going to go help him out. But uh, he's got his tiger set up down in another field, so he's got to till up a few few fields, get ready for planting, and he's going to plant them over when he's ready. And while he's doing that, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do from there. Probably haul grain. Been hell, one hell of a while. Yeah, it's been it's definitely been one hell of a while, that's for sure. I've been trying to get into this. Um, I'm gonna be honest, it's just I'm gonna be honest with you, I really I guess for a while lost interest and I think it's just mainly because I haven't found anything interesting that I liked recording. So like I really didn't find it interesting of recording like what I was recording before, I'm assuming. I think that's the case. I think that's the case. Um but I have some big plans. Um, scheduled or being made. I'm just figuring out the vehicles and everything, and then I think we'll get the ball rolling. Just gotta say, there's gonna be a, uh, it's just gonna be a, uh, it's gonna be more than one person in it. I think it'll be pretty fun. We haven't done one of those in a long while. Last time I did that was a Spencer. It's been almost, I think, uh, 20, it'll be almost two years since me and Spencer actually, like, recorded like that. I haven't talked to him in a while. You just want to play with? This is just on a regular server. I don't have a daddy, sadly. Plus, I have some private mods in here. I really don't like. Don't really want to distribute. I still got my Chevy in here. I got my O2 Chevy. <laughs> that thing was a piece of junk. Well, that's cool. That's good to hear, Riblet. Oh, I I always every time when I'm turning from here, I always feel like I missed a farm badge, and I did not. I'm going to be honest, the farm's not the best build, but I wanted to build something that I thought was pretty cool. So, yeah. Here's the farm right here. Like I said, not the best built, but it's not my worst. I, I kind of like how it's set up. Ooh, need to get a turn a little bit more sharper. And then we will, I think we're going to take the boss's truck for today. So we'll just park my truck here. We'll take his truck, because he said to take his truck anyway. But, I guess we'll go for a rundown of the equipment. So, we got the bat co right here. Uh, this is kind of being used because we are loading out stuff. Well, we're not really right now, but later on we'll, we will be doing that. Right here is our little sprayer. We got a little old sprayer. And then we got the truck. 2014 Ram 2500 Cummins. I'm actually surprised how well bugged it. I'm not going to say surprised, but... I should say how well this came out, because I actually had the regular mod, and it was just the wheels that you could change his hit, and he made he made a really good mod, I will say that. But, yeah. So, and then here is the case header, and the cart, or the, oh my god, cart, the uh, header trailer, and they got the corn head. Um, if you need, if you do need someone, let me know, man. I tried messaging you on Facebook, on Instagram a while ago because you said to text you. So you need some help at the time. Um, yeah, my phone. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I've not been on Instagram a lot 
or really anything. Like the most I've been on was like TikTok and Snapchat. I'm not even gonna lie. And here's just our plants here at the moment. We got all of our stuff out because we had to get our he had to get his um, ripper out. And then in here is the big stuff really. We got the mower, and then we got the forward right here. Pretty nice. Got the John Deere 8200 and the Case 1688. Now, somebody told me, and yes, I, I know. Nobody else really needs to tell me, but I use very, I use my machinery. I use like the machine, same machinery every single time. Like I always use this tractor. Um, This is my first time actually using this combine. And this is my first time using this auger wagon. Ooh. But rather else, we need to uh, get on the road. Got to figure out how to get to the field anyway. It's a manual. Yeah, so I got to figure out how to get to the field. I think it, it's on to our field over here. We get to. Oh, jeez. Yeah, but we were out here yesterday. Um, not yesterday, but a few days ago doing this. And it rained for a little bit. And it was getting too wet on the field to actually continue on. So gave it a few days. And the tractor has been parked out there. So I don't know how it's going to start, really, to be honest with you. Game's lagging a whole ton. There we go. Don't want to ride too fast in this field. I'm trying to. There we go. But man, this truck's nice. I will say, this truck is nice, that's for sure. You guys, oh, look at that, that's pretty cool. The clutch and brake paddle go on at the same time. It's pretty cool. I mean, this truck is pretty cool. I, I'm. I shouldn't say I'm impressed. Oh, I am impressed. I'm impressed with how this truck came out. Like I don't like saying it like that, but I am rather else impressed by by how the truck came out. This is like one of my favorite trucks of FS so far. This and the 2020 was my are my most favorite trucks probably. I would say. Uh, and then we're just gonna drive in this one. I think we can ride that. Ah, we can't. No, we're not going to make that. Shoot. I believe our field that we're going to be working on today is going to be somewhere over here. Don't know where the track... Oh, it's right here. Silly me. Silly me. This is one big field, that's for sure. Yeah, but this is the field we did right here. The guy couldn't do tillage this winter, so he decided to just push it to spring, which is kind of, I'm not gonna say the smartest idea, but it wasn't the smartest idea. Uh, got injured, so he couldn't really get anybody out here. So, until next spring, he got me. So let's hop in here. Let's get going. Make sure it's all. We got to check these hoses and everything. Well, there's nothing here anyway. Forgot about that. Whoops. This tractor is definitely the match for this um, piece of equipment right here. I'll be honest. It is a definite match for this. And then we will get this going on the road. Oh, jeez. But yeah, so uh, I did actually post. I didn't know I could post on uh, my community thing now. I can, so I put something on the post. 
and I was putting what you guys looking up, to, what you guys really want to see. Um, it really helped me out if you guys actually went there and actually put down what you guys would want to see. I think it'd be pretty cool to see some something different. I already have plans for some things, but I want to see something different for once, you know. So I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, currently, like, if you mean, like, if I'm, if I have it, yes, I do, but if I'm on it, like, we're actually, no, I'm not, like, I'm not watching it at all. We're gonna do this for a little bit, and see how this turns out, and then we are going to get to, uh, I think we're just gonna do this field for today, see how far we can get. And I think in a video we will actually record this of me intelligent or doing tillage on this. Um, so I'm gonna try getting back on YouTube a little more because I actually just got a new job and a job that wouldn't take up almost every single day. I was almost working almost every single day. I think one time, actually in the summertime, I had like one day off. That's it, which is crazy. But um, I found a new job and. I would say I'm getting paid better there, and I'm also going to be off on weekend every single weekend. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a better better job for me physically, I would say. My job I was working at before, I'll be honest, it mentally just exhausted me. All, every day, it, would just, it just exhausted me. It was not the best for me. <sighs> Jeez. But I'm going to try again on YouTube a little bit more. I think I'm going to shoot for more in 22 than 19. Because there's really no point in me starting a whole new series. And then like two weeks down the road. Oh, Farm Sim, 19, or Farm Sim 22 comes out. And then all my views are just going to decline rapidly. Because of Farm Sim 22 coming out. So I really don't find a point to me. Really. I don't know. I Like the series that I'm wanting to start up. I think me and the people that are going to do it. Um, we're just going to do it 19 until all the vehicles come out for 22, and then we're going to start something new, start something fresh, simple. But we thought, um, but we all thought that would be the best for all of us. So, I'm not going to give out any details. I'm not going to give out really any details of, like, what it is going to be or how it's going to work out. You just got to wait and see. And I, like I said, I don't, we don't even really, I don't, I'm going to be honest, I don't know if it's going to happen because we might just wait till 22, like I said, and get the ball rolling. And try to become one of the last ones that do it or do it in first in 22, in my opinion. I don't know. I'm not going to try to get out too many details, though. Kind of just bored looking for something to play with. Um... Where could you go? I, I I didn't really see anybody. I was in TFC earlier, but I wasn't in there today at all. Well, I was in there today, I should say, but I was I'm not in there now. But I wonder. I don't know if anybody's in there. This tractor on triples would be pretty cool. I will say. I think what we'll do is we'll go all the way around here. And they go up and down, 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 really. I gotta be checking my gas, because I think the gas is almost out in the sand anyway. Oh, geez, I'm missing all that. I wonder if I can check my gas in here. Oh, we can't see the gas in here. Let me check it on the... Let's see. The gas is right at quarter of a tank. So that does show us when you can go get gas. That does remind me. You need to get a fuel pump installed out at the farm. Because there's no fuel. You don't have any fuel or... Um, like... Uh, we don't have, like, a tank out there that we can rely on. Even if we did, I would not even go out... I would not even... Like, even if we did, I wouldn't dri not drive the sand all the way out there just to 
fill it up and then not fill it back that or yeah fill it up and drive all the way back just for it to be wasted basically I'm gonna nail the truck no I'm not so now we're just gonna go basically up down up down really Try staying this row. Just want to get the end rows done. <sighs> I will say I'm pretty tired, but I think what I'm gonna shoot for if we do if I do start recording, I think for starting we're, I'm gonna try streaming on Sundays and then on, um, like one of the days in the week I'm gonna upload just just to start just to get it going kind of I guess, and then I'm gonna try getting some more videos out on different days instead of like one day of a week and then a stream like get like two videos uploaded a stream. I don't like being, like, very organized with YouTube. I kind of like to be, but I don't like to be at the same exact time. I just like to try staying... Hmm. I like to stay, like, with a good gap between days. So, like, when I'm done with work or whatever, I can come home and record, and then I can edit the next day or whatever. We're going to jackknife this, that's for sure. I'm going to turn this all the way. Like I was saying, yeah, I just like, I just want to, uh, oh no, oh no. Oh yeah. I just want to try keeping it in a kind of good balance point, I guess I could say. Oh, I'm missing that row. Let's go back, get that done. Still missing the row. Still missing the row. Just trying to keep it well enough where I'm like not getting exhausted. Let me keep it well enough where um you know, I'm happy with it, I guess. Where I can do stuff, you know. If I don't plan on streaming, like on a Sunday, I'll just upload a video instead. Well, did Buck make you stream lol? No, it just kind of motivated me. Yeah, I guess you could say, yeah, you did, but yeah, me and him have been close for a while. Well, not really close, but me and him used to work really well together. Well, not, I shouldn't say used to, but we worked really well together. Um, he saw me with a lot on YouTube, I should say. That's how he knows me really well. <laughs> um, um, let me think of like, okay, so I remember, um, when I started YouTube, like, almost two years ago. I actually think it is two years ago. I think today or tomorrow would be my two-year of my first video. I believe. But, anyway. He helped me make a, like, a, um... Like, a, he helped me, like... Helped me with a, uh, like... Uh... What's it called? A convert mod? For a combine, I believe? Yeah, it was a combine. It was a, it was a K7150, I think. In FS17. And I wanted it really bad in FS19. So I knew how to convert. I just, you know. And it worked. Like it actually would work in game and everything. But the lights weren't working. All this stuff wasn't working. So he helped me do all the stuff to it. 
And I remember every, um, I remember every single day, like how, yeah, he'd, like I, or I shouldn't say I'd, he would help me. I remember always talking to him. I remember that was so, I remember that was, he always tells me like, that was the, that was the dumbest, but that was the most fun I've had trying to mod in FS19 or for FS19. And that was so fun because I met with him and then after a while I was like, yeah, I'm trying to get on YouTube, you know, get started. And he was like, yeah, man, you know, I can really help you out. I can help you grow your numbers. And, um, at start, it started like, not decline. I should say, I should say like increase. Um, but he helped me out a lot. Well, I mean, what about you since you were in the stream? I was sure as a way to make him release all his mods. I don't know. He's, um, some of his mods he's released, he really bit his ton on for releasing. Like the 94, I remember he was biting his ton to release that, and he did. Um, like the four, I know he had, not the 08, not the 2008, like regular, but I remember the, I remember he would not, he's not going to release that. I know he won't. There's no way. I don't think he uses that really much anymore. I mean, he, might, he might, but I don't know. That truck was definitely a cool truck. Um, and I remember I when I was modding myself. Um, I remember I did my own OBS Ford with a, a service bed on it and put on diamond plate on it. I posted on it was his. I think it was actually his bed. It was like the bed he had, kind of. And I remember I posted on Facebook and he goes, he says something like, how did you get my bed? Like he was being serious. And I was like, I didn't get it. I wish. He's a very skilled, he was very patient with stuff too. I don't know how he does it, but I, I, I will be honest. I cannot stay patient with modding. I honestly can't. I don't know how he does it, but he does. He honestly stays very patient with modding. I can't really do it myself. I don't know how he does it, but he does. And there was some good stuff I've made. I have some stuff still sitting in, like, Giants Editor that is waiting to be put on and actually put in game, but I haven't really... There's some stuff... Like, there was, like, something screwed up with the truck. I remember I actually uh, took out... Expendables 2011 Ford. It was a four-door one. And I took that down, took it, ripped it all apart, redid it. And I got the, I had statics working, everything. And I remember I couldn't find, I couldn't fit the interior in, so I just quit on it. Because I just was like, I'm not dealing with all this blender work at the moment. So it was too much time to consume into that. Um, And then, uh, yeah, I just sit in the blender. And I've had other, I've had other models, really. How many models? How many mods do you have? Um, if you're talking in game, I would say like 300. But ones I've done myself, like I guess I, I'll count every single one I could think of. So I did the, so my first actual teardown and like rebuild truck I think was, or my first like um, mod from scratch would be a I think it was the I think it was a ninety two Ford I think it was the ninety two Ford um service bed I was talking about. And then it was the it was a Ford F one fifty an eighty seven, eighty nine. And then um the Ford I was talking about. I've always I'm not a Ford guy, but I've always done Ford models. Like, I can work better with Ford models than working with Chevy models. I don't know why. Um, so, what's up, Everett? Um, what PC do you have? I have a CyberPower one. I have a pre-built one. I'm not one of those cool kids that has all the custom computer parts in. I was thinking about putting a bunch of new computer parts in, but I don't have the money right at the moment to spend on that. What time is it? I'm just checking time it is. So I plan it in the stream like in like twenty minutes or so. I'll be honest, uh I'm not a big Ford guy. Yeah, like I said, I'm not a big Ford guy. I'm I've always grown up with Chevys around my life, but my so my real dad, he's 
He's a big GM guy. Big GM guy. He's always owned a GM. Never seen him. Actually, I've seen him own two Fords in his life. Actually, he's owned three Fords. So he owned a 78 Ford F-150. He owned a, uh, like a crap, like one of the bubble one, bubbly Fords, like the 2000 ones. I did not like that truck at all. And then he owned a 2018 Ford F-150 Lariat. That thing, I drove that thing every, well, I didn't drive it, but um, I will say I, every time if we go grab breakfast, I would say, hey, let's drive the Ford. And we would, I'd drive it there, drive it back. Um, I would drive it back. Um, and that truck was so nice. It had the 5 Coyote in it, and he sold it. That was one of my most favorite trucks he's had. And then he sold it. But my stepdad is a always hard blue oval. Oh, every chance you get to talk to him about a Ford, he will just ramble on about a Ford. Um, I always argue with him about trucks. It's or my truck because I have a Chevy Silverado, and he has a he. They actually just got a Ford Ranger this week. So, um, actually it was today, and I was like asking him like, "Hey, how much can you tow with that truck?" And he goes, "Oh, a lot." I'm like, "Like, so, like, so that's like how much?" He's like, "Well, my buddy at work has one, and he says he tows his ATVs, this, that, this, that." And I'm like, "Toy AV, toy ATVs, like for kids." little tykes and he's like how much did you haul with your truck i'm like i don't know about four or three four tons of dirt with my truck not in the bed but just on a trailer i was honestly impressed with how that came out because that tr i was not expecting my truck to do what it did that day i was like oh yeah it's, it's just gonna it's not gonna work too well you know but it worked out pretty well uh A four hundred dollar gaming laptop with fourteen hundred four hundred plus mods. Don't know how it hasn't crashed. Oh my gosh. And not the best condition, but my dad has a seventy eight F two fifty Ranger XLT short bed, and I absolutely love it. Those are not bad. Um. Actually, for my first truck, I was looking at a seventy two F two fifty, and it was just beat. It was beat to hell. I I mean, it was beat to hell. And I don't like using that word on stream, but I really don't care. Um, it was just beat, really. And <clears throat> I knew the guy pretty well. I was selling it. He was selling it for like two grand. I was like, ooh, that's not bad, actually. But the fuel mileage was crap. All this stuff was just, eh. It wasn't, what was weird, though, it wasn't rusted. I don't think there was a speck of rust anywhere on that truck. I think it was just, I think literally it was just a paint fading. This guy, though, did try selling me, rec not recently, but like last year, he tried selling me fender flares for my truck for an o 03 to 06 Silverado for like 100 bucks. Well, I know he was telling me a while back, he was like, yeah, well, I have these fender flares, and he was like, I know your truck has, I, I bet your truck has rust on them. You could take those off and put on new ones. I'm like, yeah, nah. I was buying wheels at the time. He's like, I'll throw them with the wheels if you just pay a hundred. And I was thinking like, oh, okay. hundred bucks wouldn't be bad. It's like, nah. I don't really want to throw a hundred bucks at, at that at the moment. Mm, yeah. It used to be a logging vehicle, so it has a custom red color. With white. That's pretty cool, actually. It's a pretty cool uh, paint stripe it, or paint scheme it's got on it. Mine was like a brown. It was like a turd, not turd brown, but like a bright brown and if you polish it and wax it it would probably look really good but no point to it To be an emerald green, you could see under some paint chips, it looks terrible. I would hate it, hate it with green. Yeah, I don't know. It'd be different. We actually have a guy in the area that actually has a '78 Bronco, I think, and has this beautiful black paint. Has like blue paint. It's the coolest. It's cool. It's pretty cool. I've seen that work quite a bit. And then now I don't work there, but oh well.
oh, if I, I don't know. I'm going to be honest. If it was between any any vehicle in the world, if I had all the amount of money to restore a vehicle right now, I would, I'm going to be honest, I would choose an 80s K10 or even an OBS. Because I would just love to just, or actually, no, it was an, actually what I'd want to really restore is a 90s Blazer, like a K5 Blazer. Those things are sick. The two-door ones, put some black paint on it, like onyx black, metallic black, you know. And then take out the engine, put in a big old, put in like a 454 or even a big LS. If I could fit an LS in there, I would. And then, uh, yeah, that thing would be sick, in my opinion. That thing would be amazing. I wonder if a 632 could fit in those... uh, in those vehicles at all. I would definitely try, that's for sure. Does anyone even know what the 632s are going in right now? Because I wonder where those go in. <laughs> what, are th- what those are going in it currently. I really am. wonder what, are the- what those are going in. Jeez, we got a lot done so far. This is all that's planned to split it up. Put a truck or a toolbox. Um, have a toolbox, the CB, and some other stuff. We just and just get it running. Have you seen the new Broncos? Um, actually, fun fact. Um, I my stepdad and my mom are actually planning on going out and buying a new Bronco this week. That's why they got a Ranger. So they drove out to the place that had the Bronco, and they had the listing price and everything on it. So it was they're basically like saying, yeah, it's for sale. But then when they got there, um, the people go, yeah, it's not for sale, and that made my uh. Like, my uh, stepdad got pissed because he's like, oh, I want that really bad. Like, I don't blame him. Was, uh, they're cool. I He wasn't getting the sport. He was getting the, uh, like, two-door one, like the actual one. Like, I don't know why people think a Bronco is a four-door one. No, those are not Broncos. Those are just, no. But the two-door, the two-door one they were looking at had 35, so it was lifted. It was, like, a black paint. I think it had, like, red pinstripe or something. I don't know what it had. It had something red with red in it. But it was awesome. Oh, I think the color was red. I don't think it was black. But that tr- that looked awesome. And then I hear the message like, we can't buy the Broncos, so we're going to buy the Ranger instead. I'm like, oh, my God. So they bought it. So, uh, yeah. And then we're going to go around here. But, yeah, the the Rangers, in my opinion, I don't know. They're, they're all right. I mean, after having one. So we used to have a torch before. Um, it was limited, so it had like the three point five liter. I think they all put the three point five three point five liters in them. It had the three point five liter tur- twin turbo engine. It had the um, leather seats cooled and heated, and the front and back, I believe. Uh, had a nice stereo. Had nice sounds. Had a nice sound system. Everything, right? And so they're like, oh, yeah, we should get rid of the Taurus. I'm like, no, keep the Taurus because it's going to grow. It's going to raise value in like 20. If you kept it pretty good or not pretty good, if you kept it in good condition for a long time, it will you'll be getting like half, twice the amount. At that point, you can almost go buy, buy two used Rangers, two used Broncos by then. But now I do not really like them either. I don't like the um, style of them. My parents ordered a wild track and it, it got a build date of January sometime. Well, that's pretty cool. Time is I'm just checking the time. I don't know how much longer we're gonna go. I don't know if I'm gonna go do that big plot. It's gonna be a lot to do. That is a lot to do. I like how this tractor handles. Do you see like how realistic it is? That's pretty cool, in my opinion. I'm 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 actually surprised that we haven't run on gas yet. Look, our gas gauge has been the same exact way since we started this tractor up and started running up and down this field. And then we're gonna go this way.
Ooh, yeah, that would be bad. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, in my opinion, I don't like how Ford's doing all their stuff anymore. Like, they're going all electric with all their stuff. They made the Lightning an electric truck, which, I mean, cool, I guess, but eh. The Lightning is not just some electric truck. Um, and then there's just some things I really don't like Ford did, in my opinion. Like, some things I just, like, I'm iffy about. I'm like, eh, you know, I really don't care. Like, even, I'm even, like, considering, I'm like, you know what? I might just go look at Dodge for a little bit and see what Dodge is doing. That's why you should do it. I usually just see what Dodge is doing. Because Dodge, I mean, out of all the three big brands in America, Dodge is doing some of the most badass things you can think of. Like, they're putting, they're putting Hellcats and, and little, and little, uh, oh, God. I missed that. Yep. I'm, oh, no, I didn't. They're putting Hellcats and minivans. Think about that. Hellcats and minivans. I said let Tesla deal with electric for the next couple of years. To be honest, we're not even doing that good of a job with it. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I actually did a presentation in like 7th or 8th grade. And I was like, why we should ban Teslas from America. And my, my main reason why was the batteries were going to explode sometime. And I was like, yeah, all this can happen, blah, blah, blah. And people were like, it won't happen. And then like recently in school, we were talking about it. And they're saying, yep, the batteries are exploding. And I'm like, you know, I did a presentation in 7th grade about that. And I knew they are going to explode. Space movie 1992. Yes. Yes. Yes, Buckeye. Yes. Buckeye, I like me farming. I'm farming. Original content right here. Nobody else does it better than me in the game. Tesla's had their place for to some people, but I don't like them. Nah. Kind of sad that a Ford outpulled a Tesla Cybertruck, and they're like, "Yeah, we got the best pulling in the industry." I'm like, "Okay, I'm not even a big Ford guy, but watch a Ford pull out pull you." And guess what happened? Ta-da! I remember those eight, 2018 Fords could literally just pull up a million pounds. Like, I don't know if that's real or not, but I remember watching that. I thought it was pretty cool that they did that. That was their marketing, I guess, in a way. Is that they um, marketed, like, yeah, we could pull the most. And they pulled a million. Uh, let me put that in quotes. A million pounds. Got like 10 more minutes. I don't know if we're going to get this all done. I know we won't get it all done in 10 minutes, but we can definitely park the tractor here and par pull the truck back, and then we can, uh, then we'll be done from there. We'll probably stop at 10, 7, 15. We'll park the tractor for the day. I think that's what we'll do. What's going on, Shane? That's a lot of we got left. We're gonna have to definitely go this way so I can have some space to turn around. Get 50 minutes in. I don't know what my time is on this right now. I have to look on YouTube. Actually, I have to look on my. Oh, I can see. Uh, I'm currently 40 minutes in. Oh, it won't let me go back to Thompson. Wow. And this field will be, oh, it won't be done, but.
then what we can do is turn this here. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I just screwed myself up. Never mind. It's like I lied. I have like five days before mid spring comes in, so we have a lot of time. These are only our second field, by the way. So we have one, two, three. We have. Let's see. It will let me synchronize. Come on. We're not synchronized, but save content. Sheesh. So we got one, two, three, four, five. So we got five. Oh, wait, actually. Yeah, five. Okay. So, and then boss man can plant in the tractor. So, yeah, boss man can um, start planting fields, and then when I'm done, or I can start doing the other field, and then while he's doing that, uh, we, we should be able to uh that all done. We're going to do this here. Oh, crap. I messed that up. Oh, jeez, I messed that up big time. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Come on, stabilize. There we go. I'm going to get this all open so I can just get a sh straight shot at it, basically. Just keep it on that rail. What a wimpy horn. What a wimpy horn. I don't understand why they put the like AC controls and everything right in the middle of the in the middle. Like right in front. I don't see a point to that. You know what I mean? Because like I like if I want to change them, I gotta stick my hand through the steering wheel just to get to our our AC controls. Yep, let's just unrealistically drive at twenty two miles per hour down a field. Should we try flipping this? Let's try it. Oh, yep, there it goes. Oh, I was Oh, no, no, not losing today. I can do it again, probably. Yep, you're not chipping me over. Whoa, look at that. That was a track. That was like a dude perfect for tractors. Watch this. Come on. Come on. Oh. Okay, we'll just park it there. And we'll drive back home. <laughs> Boss won't ask any problems at all. <laughs> we'll just go back home. <laughs> Let's do this jump. It's gonna flip this truck probably. Oh well. To ram. Oh, jeez. Hey, we did it. That's going to be the biggest field out of them all. This is where we're going to definitely need fuel at. Even with seeds, too, it's going to be terrible. Kind of wondering how he's planning on planting these stuff. I wonder if he's gonna plant from front to back, or if he can go from back to front. Cause that's gonna be hard to get all the equipment back there. Oh wait, the exit's over here. Actually, why does it matter anymore? I'm literally just driving like a dummy. There we go. He won't ask any problem, any questions at all. 
Oh, there we go. Parker struck right where he had it last. Right here. Perfect. All right, guys. Well, I think that's it for the stream. No oh. A bumper color and the main color option. Um, I'm not for sure why. I think it's a mod conflict. Yeah, I'm assuming it's a different mod conflict. And stuff had that problem as well. But yeah, so guys, I think it's gonna be it for today. If you guys could really help me out, go down, and subscribe, like, like the stream. Um, hit the like button, subscribe, comment down. We guys saw it. Um, share it out. It really helped me. So, hey guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.